Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over how to create a lightsaber which you can turn on and off. So I downloaded this lightsaber and there will be a link in, to it in the description and this will be the model which we'll be using to turn on and off. So if we go into our character, into his mesh and into his skeleton, we're going to want to place, we're going to want to go to his um, left hand and place it so that the lightsaber appears in this hand. So I'm going to click add new socket and then I'm going to rename the socket lightsaber. So lightsaber. And then we're going to right click on it and click add preview mesh and click the lightsaber model. That'll be your link for the description of it. And I'm just going to rotate it the correct way. So 180 and then I'm just going to scale it down so it's like a normal size because it's really big right now. So just scale it down and then you want to move it correctly so that it's in his hand so it looks like he's holding his lightsaber so i'll just adjust it so just move it in i'm going to put it a bit back and down and go to the right okay so that's mostly done i'm going to uh, save it because that now looks all correct and then we're going to want to close that and we're going to find our third person character, go into him and into the viewport. And then we're going to go add component, our static mesh. This will be our lightsaber. And we're just going to drag it into our mesh. And then we're going to attach this to a parent socket. And this will be the lightsaber socket we just created. So just want to click on it. And then uh, in the static mesh, it's going to be the lightsaber model or whatever model you have. So then we're just going to yeah, that's all good. Click compile and save and yeah. So now we're going to create the materials like our glowing material for the light for when we turn it on and our invisible material. So we want to right click material and we'll just call this invisible. We'll double click into it and on its blend mode we're going to want to click translucent. Then whilst pressing one and left clicking, you want to do that and it'll get a constant and you just drag that into opacity and then we will save it and wait for it to compile. So once that's finished, everything will look invisible and then you can just close that. And then we're going to create our glowing material. So right click, click material again and I'm just going to call this glow because this will be our lightsaber's glow and then we're going to Again, want to get a constant, pressing one, left click, and then we're going to right click on this and convert it to a parameter. And I'm going to call this parameter uh, glowing as this be how much our material glows. And then we're going to right click and look for a constant three vector. This will be, and we're going to right click, convert to parameter, and we'll call this color as this will decide the color of our material. Then just off glow, going to drag multiply and just plug that into B and then off the color we'll plug that into A and we'll plug this into our emissive color and click save. And then we'll just wait for that to go. So once that has uh, loaded, it will just be a black color and then we'll close it and then off this you're going to right click and create material instance. I'm just gonna call this purple. This can be whatever color you want. This will be the color of my uh, lightsaber. Double click onto it. Then you wanna click the color box and click the glow box. And on the color, just drag it to whatever color you want your lightsaber to be. So it might be purple, or then off glow, set a value. So I'm gonna set 50 and it'll make our material glow. And the higher this is, the brighter it'll glow. So let me go into our blueprints, third person character. And if we look at the static mesh, so by default it's some color. I'm going to change this to our invisible. So this material is invisible. Then if we go into our event graph and right and sorry, click the Z key. And then I'm going to go flip flop. So when we click the Z key, it's going to turn our lightsaber on and off. And then we're going to drag our static mesh and set the material. Set the material. And you see the elemental index, how that's zero. That's because it's got three colors, and so the element zero, that's the one we're going to be changing. So we'll leave it at zero. 
we'll just plug it in and on the material we're going to select the purple glow that we just created then just copy that duplicate it and then we're going to plug that in and then we'll set it back to our invisible so invisible compile and it should all be done so now if we're with our character and uh, we click the Z key, our lightsaber will glow, and if we click the Z key again, it will turn off. I'm sorry, I didn't place my lightsaber correctly, but you can just adjust that and it should fit in the hand better. And now we have our lightsaber. Thanks for watching.